Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Now today's video is going to be the beginner's guide to lip liner, lipstick and lip gloss. So if you want to know the ins and outs on how I apply them three products then this is the perfect video for you. I do slightly overdraw my lips but if you don't want to then that's perfectly fine. Just draw around your natural lip line and you'll be good to go. So I really hope that you guys do enjoy this video and let's just go straight on into it. You can see there is a light layer of foundation on my lips and that's just because when I applied my foundation I went over them just to give them kind of a light coat and I know if you're if you're not wearing lipstick then um, just remove this with the makeup wipe but if you are wearing lipstick it's a really good idea to coat them with foundation because this kind of acts as a primer for your lips so next what I'm going to be doing is outlining my lips and I'm going to be using this boldly bare lip liner by MAC also the foundation helps like disguise your actual lip line so if you are overlining your lips it will look a bit less obvious I don't really have a defined liner where my lip ends so I can quite easily overdraw my lips especially my bottom lip not so much my top lip but yeah I do slightly overdraw my lips anyway because they are quite small and I would like them to be a little bit larger so I'm just grabbing this lip liner because it's just a general nude shade a similar shade is the Rimmel Exaggerate lip liner in the shade Addiction but any kind of nudie lip liner will do the but that's if you're doing a nude lip obviously today I'm going to be doing a nude lip but if you want to do like a red lip then just use a red lip liner good tip is just to always use a lip liner lip liners are so good for kind of creating a new lip line if you want to make it appear larger or your lips to appear bigger so yes I'm first off starting off with my lip liner so first I'm just slightly overdrawing my bottom lip only a tiny bit I personally can quite easily get away with overlining my bottom lip because my bottom lip kind of curls over so you can't really see where the actual uh, like original lip line was. And then moving on to the top lip, slightly overdrawing this one too. I start from middle and then go outwards. You don't have to overdraw your lips if you don't want to, it's just kind of personal preference. So now I'm just going to fill in my lips with this MAC lipstick in the shade Velvet Teddy. This is personally my favourite kind of nudie shade, although it is slightly orange toned on me, but I do love it nonetheless. So I'm just literally just filling in now the whole of my lips. And also going over where I applied the lip liner so that the two shades kind of blend together. This is why you need a lip liner that matches your lipstick kind of really well because then it helps to blend the two together because if I was wearing like a red lip liner and a nude lipstick obviously you're going to be able to see the red lip liner. So as you can see my lips now look a lot bigger than I did originally even if I don't overdraw my lips as soon as I kind of apply a lipstick they do look a lot bigger so that is why I never really tend to leave the house without it but I do really really love how they look so I personally think they look quite natural even though I have overdrawn them slightly close up you may be able to tell but when you're actually talking to someone like distantly you won't be able to tell at all. So next I'm going to be applying the Tanya Bar lip gloss in lunch date and lip glosses really do tend to make your lips look bigger because they make them look more plump and more juicy but in general lip glosses are really nice to apply to the lips and they're really nice and moisturising as well. I also find when you apply a lip gloss you really cannot tell that you've overdrawn your lips at all but I just really love how a lip gloss looks. I never tend to wear them that often because I find they are a bit irritating as they do like stick to your hair and stuff but nonetheless they look absolutely gorgeous so if you want your lips to look fuller I really recommend wearing a lip gloss but if you don't want to make them look fuller and you just want to wear a lip gloss then go ahead because they look so so nice and this one is slightly kind of lighter than the lip colour so it has made my lips a little bit lighter but I don't mind because they still look really really nice. 
One thing I would say is that when you're wearing a lipstick, never go for a shade that's lighter than your skin tone because it will just wash you out. So if you're quite tanned, you don't want to go for a shade that's lighter than your skin tone because it will wash you out and it just won't look right and it will look like you have foundation lips, which is obviously not the look that people want to go for. Um, but yeah, I really, really love this kind of nude lip. It's kind of like a pinky nude, but nonetheless, I absolutely love it. So this is what my lips look like close up. So I really do hope that you guys found this video helpful and that you're liking my kind of series that I'm doing at the moment. Sorry I haven't posted one of these beginner series videos in a while, it's just because a lot of my videos have been pre-filmed. So I really did hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please give it a big, big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!